Thomas Jefferson, born April 2nd, April 13th, New Style, 1743, Shadwell, Virginia, U.S. Died July 4th, 1826, Monticello, Virginia, U.S., Draftsman of the Declaration of Independence of the United States and the nation's first Secretary of State, 1789-94 and second Vice President, 1797-1801, and, as the third President, 1801-09, I cannot live without books. Do you want to know who you are? Don't ask. Act. Action will delineate and define you. I predict future happiness for Americans, if they can prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. Honesty is the first chapter of the book Wisdom. The legitimate powers of government extend to such acts only as are injurious to others. It does me no injury for my neighbor to say there are 20 gods or no god. It neither picks my pocket nor breaks my leg. The man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. I sincerely believe that banking establishments are more dangerous than standing armies, and that the principle of spending money to be paid by posterity, under the name of funding, is but swindling futurity on a large scale. On matters of style, swim with the current, on matters of principle, stand like a rock. The most valuable of all talents is that of never using two words when one will do. I'm a greater believer in luck and I find the harder I work the more I have of it. We in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. I would rather be exposed to the inconveniences attending too much liberty than to those attending too small a degree of it. Our civil rights have no dependence on our religious opinions any more than our opinions in physics or geometry. History, in general, only informs us what bad government is. I have observed, indeed, generally, that while in Protestant countries the defections from the Platonic Christianity of the priests is to deism, in Catholic countries they are to atheism. Diderot, d'Alembert, Dalbach, Condorcet, are known to have been among the most virtuous of men. Their virtue, then, must have had some other foundation than the love of God. Nothing gives one person so much advantage over another as to remain always cool and unruffled under all circumstances. Determine never to be idle. No person will have occasion to complain of the one of time, who never loses any. It is wonderful how much may be done, if we are always doing. I had rather be shut up in a very modest cottage with my books, my family and a few old friends, dining on simple bacon, and letting the world roll on as it liked, than to occupy the most splendid post, which any human power can give. If a nation expects to be ignorant and free, in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and never will be. I know no safe depository of the ultimate powers of the society but the people themselves, and if we think them not enlightened enough to exercise their control with a wholesome discretion. The remedy is not to take it from them, but to inform their discretion by education. This is the true corrective of abuses of constitutional power. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for extra attitude quotes from extraordinary people.